Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Fruit Ninja tutorial series in Scratch. This is part 8, and in this part, we're going to be working on the retry button in the game over scene and the main menu. And those are the two main objectives for today. After that, we'll basically be done. So good job getting this far. You're only a couple minutes away from finishing this game. So let's get started with the retry button. So let's take a look at what our retry scene looks like right now. And to fix that, let's go into our game and to, you know, be able to see what it looks like right now. Let's first move this over here. This is actually pretty important to make sure that this script happens before this. But we want to start in the retry. And this is just a placeholder, obviously, but we just want to see what it looks like. So there it is. It just shows your score. We want to have a retry button on the right side so that the user can replay if they want to. So let's create a new sprite. And again, all files are linked in the description below. And we're going to upload these two costumes, retry fruit and retry ring. And let's go into the code of this. Uh, but we're going to say when flag is clicked, go to motion. And we're going to go to x120 and y0. And then we're just going to create a clone of myself. And you'll see why. But basically, we're going to have one clone for each costume. So you're going to say, when I start as a clone, go to looks, set size to 35. And this one will be the fruit. And the fruit will be inside of the ring. And then we're going to say, forever. And if, and then drag in the, or if else, actually. Whoops. Because we want to have an else condition. And then go to operators drag in the equal sign and we want to check if our mode is equal to retry so we're going to go to variables drag in mode if so we want to do a small animation of just turning one degree to the right otherwise uh, we are just going to let's go to looks we're just going to hide in the else statement which means that we need to bring a show here and we'll need to do another block eventually but that's what we'll leave for now Okay, so then for the ring, we're going to do that in the spawner clone. So when flag is clicked, we can do it here. And it's going to be pretty similar. We can set size to 45% instead, and then change this to retry ring and make this negative two. And let's see how this looks. So we have a retry button on the right. And ideally, we just get to swipe through it, and it'll retry the game for us. So in order to add that functionality, let's create a block and let's call it check clicked. In this block, we are going to do a pretty basic script of just checking, okay, has this sprite been pressed? And the way to do that is to drag in in, whoops, if, and you're going to need an and. So it's going to be if touching mouse pointer and mouse is down. This is kind of the universal way to test if a sprite is being clicked. Then we're going to retry our game. And there's a couple things that need to be re reset. First of all, you need to set lives lost to zero. Then we need to set score to zero because we want to, first of all, just set the score back to zero so the user can start again. But also, if you may remember in our games, the difficulty of the waves are based on score. So we need to go back to a beginner level again as well. So we set score to zero. And then we need to actually broadcast a message. And this will update the costume in the live sprite. So we're going to call this reset lives. And then go into your live sprite. And just drag in a when I receive reset lives. Then switch costume to zero and it'll just go into this first costume all right perfect let's go back into our code and there's one last block and that's going to be setting our mode to as you may guess game and lastly we need to actually use this block so let's drag in a check clicked underneath the show for both the ring and the fruit. And if we full screen, let's see if this works. Awesome. As you can see, the next fruit in the next round spawns immediately. All right, 
So let's work on the main menu next. Let's create a new sprite and let's make it the title sprite. So let's upload a costume and this one is called logo. Open it in scratch and then let's go to our code once it's imported. And let's add some pretty basic logic here to get it set up. So we need to say when flag is clicked, set size to, and we're gonna keep it at 75%. Obviously 100 is a bit too big. And then we're gonna say go to, and I found that these specific numbers work pretty well, although they are a little bit strange, negative 68 and 49. And then you wanna go into uh, control, drag in a forever, and an if else. We're going to drag in an equals. Let's say if our variable mode is equal to menu, then let's show else hide. And to test this, let's go into our game sprite and let's set mode to menu when we start. So if we click the green flag, you can see that it pops up here and it's working. Now let's add a play button in the bottom right. And we're going to use a very similar approach as this ring. So we can actually just duplicate it. We're going to go into costumes. And instead of having these two, let's import the ones for the play button. And they are called classic fruit and classic ring. Let's import both of these costumes and then delete the ones from the other sprite. Now the code is very similar. Let's adjust some things. First of all, we want to go to X 120 and we want to go down a bit. So let's set the Y to something like, uh, let's see, I think around negative 70 is good. And then what we want to do is adjust some of these numbers. So let's change the ring size to 55. Let's make sure we've clicked classic ring here and classic fruit. And obviously, instead of checking if mode is retry, we want to check if mode is menu. And then finally, instead of doing all of this when it's clicked, we just want to set our mode to game. And that's it. We don't need the rest of this. Okay. Just like that, if we full screen and we swipe through, we are given into the game. Let's add one last thing as a transition into the game, and that's using a broadcast message that we already have made in a previous part. So let's just broadcast transition, and just like that, we should be done. So you can see I swipe across, there's a nice animation. I'll do that for you again. If I swipe across, and now I'm into the game. There we go, that's it. I'm gonna have a full walkthrough and gameplay in part nine where we review it, but you are done with this series and I will see you in part nine where we review and recap the main ideas of this project. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed the series. Join us in part nine and make sure to subscribe and like the video. Peace out.